You can invert it and do a few things. We've also got some blurring and whatever tools, but I just want to keep this pretty simple. And let's just go that way. And now what I want to do is I want to bring this out with the move brushes. And just, you can see how by masking that, it's just going to encourage that overlap to happen. And we can, even at this stage, go down a couple of levels, push it a bit, or maybe stay up. And that's just really giving us a much harder line. Cleaning up these teeth. Now the idea of this is to bring this back into Maya and give it a render with some displacement maps. But it's really just a concept sculpt, so you'd be wanting to do this properly with Quad Draw, give it a much cleaner, lighter mesh that you could rig a lot easier. But you can see how nicely that's just tidied that up. Now when you get out of that mask, now you could keep it with polygroups, we're not going to overcomplicate it here, you just can smooth that off a little bit. Don't keep it all overlapped too much, it won't be that great later on smooth it off but you can see that's now quite a harsh line nice and clean and we've got this little lumpiness up here but again in this section here which we had a bit of trouble with we can just use the damp standard to cut in a, a little bit to help that and then in this little section here we've got a bit of bit of weirdness you can see our zebrush has this lovely like matte cap gray by default which is great for sculpting and then I want to hit H polish and just polish that out a little bit to get rid of some of those lumps and bumps and that can help really tighten up some of these lines anyway. Get a bit of a feel for this. There's the quick save going off every 20 minutes or so. I like to leave that at the defaults. You see how much this H polish is just cleaning up that beautiful line when it was getting a little bit lumpy. This whole area is looking much nicer over the specular. Yeah. And then it's just a matter of rinse and repeating it in there. And I think we're getting pretty close to a nice final mesh. A couple of things I might do is just give him a bit of a smile line. That, like he's smiling. And you could even come in and help it out a bit, smooth it off there. See that the topology is not totally following, but it's going to look a bit better, nicer that way. See that little, it's these little highlights and things that are extremely difficult to get out of a polygon modeling program. But here, when you let the topology run free, just do whatever. Now it's getting a little bit lumpy from that angle, so we can just go down a few steps. It's not too bad. And then up, so use those levels, smooth. And again, I'm only at 207. I say only, but this is not a lot of points. And we'll just clean up this area. So we can do a little bit of the same thing. So I'll just be a little bit more relaxed about this one. So we just kind of come in. Don't have to click out after all. I'm just going to do reverse now. And a little bit of a point here too. If you are just going straight in, back into animation, and you're quite happy with your sculpt. and You don't need to have a concept nicely rendered and stuff. So now I want to switch back to the paint. So these are in hotkeys, by the way. It's Alt-1. Alt 2, so we just switch to Alt 1. That's paint mode, now we can just paint. You don't really need to clean this up, like you just go back to Maya and start the retopology process, which is what I did with Croc. Don't actually have to have the perfect looking mesh for a retopology. And it looks like I've accidentally gone through the mesh a bit there, so I'm just going to just rub that out. Not that it really matters too much, you can see I've gone through the mesh. Control and Alt. And here we can just do a little bit of the same as what we did before, so just big brush or a big-ish brush. Just bring those up a little bit, just tighten out those shapes. Keep that one down. Bring that together, bring that down, and we can H-polish that to fix it. All right, so that's in a nice place. Do that now, we're just gonna, this cause a bit of ugliness, so just bring that back a touch. Don't like to have two massively overlapping meshes, it's a bit bad. That area, I could go up another level and cut into there, I'm not gonna worry about that. And we just clean this up a little bit, like the H polish here, like I was talking about, five on my hotkeys. Just bring that back and you can see how beautifully that tool works. And you could use pinch or damn standard. Just use pinch six, sorry, on my hotkeys. I don't really use these guys. Pinch down there. Pinch, again, H polish five. And from a distance, this should be okay. So there we go.